What do you call the four version of a trifecta? A quadfecta? We're about to <laughs> just made that up. A quadfecta. All four major indices down. Nasdaq, S&P, and Russell are on track with less than three minutes to go to hit and close at all-time highs. Thanksgiving is amazing. Just two days away. Thin volume, but there's some real action. It's time to stuff those turkeys in your portfolio as well. Mark Lucini, chief investment strategist to Janney Montgomery Scott. Uh, 73 billion in assets under management. Mark, what are you filling your clients' portfolios with right now? Liz, more of the same, which is to say maintain a cyclical exposure, not only here within the U.S., but also on a global basis by way of European and Japanese equities, and that don't be disrupted by any kind of minor pullbacks we might have along the way. But I think we're in a seasonally strong period for the market to close out this year, and frankly, we're quite bullish on 2018 as well. Okay, impressive earnings in energy and technology. Both have had great run-ups. Don't you go into some unloved areas right now? Well, I studied long energy. I still think there's a fairly high degree of skepticism as to whether oil prices can stay where they are, let alone go higher, which I think they will. And as a consequence, I'd stay long energy, own it through something like XOP, which is an E&P ETF, and it's a way to take advantage of increased spending by the majors. In addition to that, tech, look at Microsoft, a cloud-based company. We're seeing a capital expenditure upcycle underway right now that we think is a long runway. And business spending on technology is the fastest growing, and within technology on software the fastest growing. So that one-two cocktail, I think, is pretty good setup for Microsoft to continue to show gains. Okay. It's weird to some people and exciting to most all of us, if we're bullish, that we are about to see four brand new record closes here, Mark. What would you start to trim from your portfolio, knowing that we are again near all-time record highs? Well, it's interesting. Even while the S&P and some of these cyclical sectors, technology being the best so far this year, have done so well, utilities, for instance, are up 17 percent year to date, primarily because the bond yields haven't gone anywhere. In fact, the yield curve has compressed somewhat. So that be an area that I'd be a seller of, particularly with valuations in that space being exceedingly rich. The other bond surrogate sector that I'd be a little careful about is consumer staples. Um, it's rallied here of recent. I think it's more of a dead cat bounce than the beginning of a, of a reversal. It's underperform year to date and I would look for a continuation of the underperformance going into 2018. Mark Lucini, you get to witness the quadfecta here as we look to close at all time record highs for all four major indices. We didn't even mention Apple. It's really very much the driver here.